In this video, we'll talk generically about series with positive terms, which will lead us towards our ideas of how do we figure out if series converge or diverge, whether or not we can evaluate them. So we're starting with series of positive terms to do this. You can do this for all series, and we'll get there eventually, but we're starting with positive terms. And there's two main reasons why we start here. The first is simply that it's easier. As we'll see in a bit, the fact that we know every term is positive means we can use some nice results about sequences and their limits to make this a lot easier to do. And the second reason why we start here is that we can actually convert any series that doesn't have only positive terms into one that does just by taking absolute values. And that'll give us some other methods to try to figure out if those series converge by just making them all positive by taking absolute values first and then applying these methods to them. And by that, I mean, if we have the sum from n equals one to infinity of a n, that's not all positive terms, I can instead look at the sum n equals one to infinity absolute value of a n, that now has all positive terms. I can try to analyze that one instead. And we'll see later how these two things relate to each other. So what's the point and why is this easier? What do we know if every term is positive? Well, if every term is positive, I know that if I look at the partial sum up to n plus one terms, that's going to be bigger than the partial sum up to n terms, right? What's the difference between adding up n terms and adding up n plus one terms? It's the a n plus first term. The difference here is exactly a n, but I know that's positive, which means I have this set up here that my n plus first partial sum is always bigger than my nth partial sum. And so a way we can state that is the sequence of partial sums is increasing. And this only works for series that have positive terms. If we don't have positive terms, if we have terms that are negative, then this is not always the case. My partial sums are not always increasing. The point here is, if I know that it's always increasing, I have an easier way to determine if they converge. This is one of my theorems of sequences. The theorem we had before said that any bounded monotone sequence converges. Well, this tells me that the sequence of partial sums is monotone. That means if I can show it's bounded, I then get convergence. The theorem says the following. So if I have Sn being the partial sums of this series with An always positive, then if I can show the sequence is bounded, it is therefore convergent. So all I have to do to show that a series like this converges is to show that it's bounded. And it turns out that is a much easier thing to do than trying to actually analyze convergence. So a lot of what we do in the next little bit, we'll talk about how can I show this is bounded? And if I can show it's bounded, that gives me convergent. And conversely, if it's unbounded, then it must be divergent. These are gonna be the big things we're gonna have going forward. And our next main test we get for convergence is gonna be based on this fact. I wanna figure out something that could be a bound on this sequence. And if I can show that it is therefore bounded, I then get convergence. If I can show that it's unbounded, I get divergence of the series. And that's it. I don't have to evaluate the actual sum. I don't have to evaluate anything fancy. Once I can show that it's bounded or unbounded, that will give me convergence or divergence. And we'll see in future videos the sort of results we can get from knowing this fact.